Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker. I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make a different video today. This month I was in Charlotte, North Carolina for vacation, and I had the chance to go shoot. If you were American, this is a pretty basic stuff for you, but here in Brazil, people cannot buy guns, so it's rare to find a place like this. So it was a different experience for me, and I was super excited. I went there with a friend and we paid $40 for one hour on this range. The cool thing was that we could pick any of these rifles and shotguns here to shoot and it was all included on the price, we just needed to buy the bullets. And of course, if you don't have the ears and eyes protection, you gotta rent for them. We started shooting my friend's 9mm pistol. And his gun looks like pretty much the same of the MK1 9mm from Buck and Frost from Rainbow Six Siege. It's a great comparison because on video games it looks weak and easy to shoot, but this pistol here is strong and has some recoil. So I can say that it's not that easy to control this gun here. On Rainbow Six Siege it's much easier, no doubt about it. Then I had my first experience with a rifle, and it couldn't have been better. I started with the Scar Age. It's a very popular gun on the Battlefield 4, also on Rainbow Six Siege. It's the Blackbeard primary weapon. So this gun has also been used by the American Army on the Afghanistan and Iraq campaigns. It's a scary gun, dude. Uh, look how big the bullets are, and... You know, I'm not going in okay. depth on caliber, barrels, and attachments. Uh, I want to talk about the crazy experience I had. This gun is a beast. I was not allowed to be on the full auto mode, just single shot. Still, the recoil is huge. And if you don't have your body in the right position, you can have troubles. When you shoot, you can feel the air displacement around. This gun is also heavy, around 8 pounds, something around 4 kilos. Now add to it the adrenaline. And I can tell, it's not easy to shoot at all. So you're gonna ask me, does the video game look as real as in real life? I would say not. Playing with this car age on the Rainbow Six Siege, for example, is much easier. You can easily control the recoil and the sound doesn't bother you at all. By the way, I also shot with this gun here. It's called the Cobalt Kineticus. It's not a popular gun on video games. I mean, I've never seen that in any shooter or maybe just I never paid attention. But I would like to compare this one here with the Twit 417 Marksman Rifle mm -hmm. on the range. I had a red dot side and a compensator on this gun, and I can say it's amazing, incredible. The sound is deafening, the recoil is strong, but not as bad as this car age, though. And it's interesting how easy it is to get this weapon ready to shoot. Also single fire, but I would dare to say this one here is easier to control than the Twitch 417 Marksman Rifle. Well, after all, I would say if you ever have the chance to shoot, go for it. Try, because it's amazing, especially if you play video games, FPS. Well, I hope you guys uh, like this video. It's, it's totally different and maybe random, but <laughs> that's it, guys. Have a good one. And bye, amigos.